We got we got a segment, guys. If you're tuning in, we have a segment called the Do Better Dude. We got that here for you. And the reason why we started this segment is really to highlight guys doing good shit in the world. Because if you open up your phones, check out any kind of news articles, social media, a lot of times there's a lot of shit in the world, and uh, we got plenty of that out there. So we want to highlight guys that are doing cool shit, doing good things. And uh, Jared's got. He's had two recently, so I don't know if this is a, a single guy. I don't no, know this one's two. just one guy. Okay, it's just one guy. All right, just but one it's guy. a good. But he's a good guy. Yeah, it's a good do better dude. All right, he he's a better do better. He's a good do better dude. The do better dude segment. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna get tongue tied all over that. Let's, all right, let's, let's hear it. It's from uh, this year, July twentieth, twenty twenty three. Officer Aaron Blake is on his second day of the job as a police officer. Second, second day. day. Yep. All right. Okay. Fresh out of the academy. Fresh out of the academy. He is with his training officer, and they get a call. The call they get is for uh, an apartment that has caught fire. Now, they're, I'm not sure it would make sense in my mind to have the police there, but at the same time, like you'd rather have the fire department there to, to stop a fire. So... Uh, I don't know how firemen they got and policemen. Yeah, they got there first. Okay. Uh, so they're waiting around, and his uh, training officer goes around to the front of the building, and the mother is in the backside of the apartment, hanging out the window, screaming and yelling, and like smoke is just pouring out. So his uh, partner runs around to the front. He's around the back. He's trying to calm them down and like say helps on the way, just like trying to keep everyone with a cool head, and. Uh, she says, my babies are in here, or my kids are in here. He's like, oh, how old are they? And like, he gets information, and I think she said one was five months old or something like that. it was. It's a baby. And so he stands up on the ledge of the window. Oh, she's uh, she's like second floor, so it's one of those like townhome-looking uh, places. So there's a little lip on the window ledge on the bottom that he stands on, and she hands him the kid through the window. And so he takes the kid down. She has another kid up there, too. And he's like, oh, no. So he has this baby in his arm. And you watch him. Oh, and the video's there. I'll put. I'll be sure to post the video so you can watch the footage. But in the video, he has the baby. And he sets the baby down in, like, the shade of this bush on the rocks on the outside. And then he goes up to get a second kid. And he grabs the second kid down, pulls him down. And it's the cutest. And, like, it's really sad. But it's also super cute. The kid's like, Oh, thank you so much. And there's like such this genuine like Joy, gratitude, but yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, that's cute. And then you remember, like, oh, that was actually a really scary situation <laughs> for him. Uh, and so he has two kids down there now. Uh, and then that's when the video stops. Uh, I don't know if she also climbed out of the window or anything, but everyone lived, everyone was fine, no fatalities. <laughs> but his second day on the job, he's pulling kids out of a burning building from the second story window. Dude, amazing. Yeah, Officer Aaron Blake. Yep, Aaron Blake. Officer Aaron Blake. So, good job, Aaron Blake. You're a do better dude. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good do better dude. Sounds like a badass. I mean, yeah. second day on the job to show up to that. I mean, obviously he's testing his. Uh, I mean, I don't know how you handle that situation. Second not day being on the a job. fire, not being a firefighter. Like, okay, how do I process this? Like, he he stayed. Okay, calm, I need cool, to de-escalate like, right. the situation. Yeah. Don't pull the firearm because that's not going to help here. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that like the second day at Live Bearded or something? <laughs> you got to pull a kid out of a build, burning building? Well, I mean, I would hope that his, his training <laughs> is the police academy had him a little more trained and ready for that. But, yeah, I don't think they really teach that. So that was just him stepping up and being a badass. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. I love it. Well, that's going to do it for us for this episode of The Beardsman. Who? Number, <laughs> that was episode number six, guys. Number six. 006. All right. All right. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. If you think what we should do differently, what you like, what you don't like, give us your feedback. Let us know. Again, we're here just to have a conversation with you guys to answer your questions, talk about the experience of being a man in the world today through our perspective. But thank you for hanging out with us. We know there's a million things you could be doing. And if you watch to the end, we truly appreciate you. As always, live, live bearded! Or identify as someone who lives bearded. <laughs> <laughs> or identify as someone.